Hey folks, Paul Norris here, writer and creator of Willow, and I am here to show you just one of the many rewards we have to offer in our crowdfunding campaign. A dream analysis. Why am I giving a dream analysis as a reward? What is Willow? Who are you? You ask a lot of questions, and I will answer them all in reverse. Who are you? I'm Paul Notice, executive producer of Notice Vlog. I'm an Emmy Award winning producer, director, with over a decade of experience who's working with a team of other experienced and talented directors. Trishwana Cowdery, Katrina Reed, and Pierre Jean Gonzalez. What is Willow? Willow is an Afrofuturist, anti capitalist, womanist horror flick that takes place in an alternate reality where people literally feed on the weak in order to survive. But after centuries of white supremacists feeding on black and indigenous people, the tables have finally turned at a price. Why am I giving a dream analysis as a reward? The entire story of Willow starts and ends with an image from a dream. That the main character, the aforementioned titular Willow, begins her journey by having a dream that she has been told she cannot have. In this world, if you're not an eater, then you don't have the ability to dream. And yet, Willow discovers in the first moment of that film that she can dream. And she sets out throughout the entire movie to make that dream, that moment, a reality. That's a metaphor for this mythology Americans use to justify capitalism or to justify exploitation, that those who take the most are the only ones with real true dreams or aspirations. You know, not wanting to be the richest artist, the most paid artist, is something that's not valued. Anyway, and, and as, as a writer, I, I love dreams. I think they're beautiful ways to describe the motivation, to, to give a complex layering of the person's backstory and where they come from. And honestly, I think uh, dreams are just fun. They're always wacky and weird, and anyone can be right about interpreting them. So, in, in, in the same spirit as that, I'm gonna offer free dream interpretation. Anyway, before I go on, uh, I just need you folks to do something for me. Go to bit.ly forward slash willow. I don't know if it reads this way or reads this way. And just contribute what you can. Share, follow it. Click, 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 click. It's them clicking, they're like, oh my goodness, it's such a great project. Click, 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 I give you like a hundred dollars. I don't know. Boom, boom. That's enough time. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. Let's go on to this reward. Why not show you what you came here for, which is a dream analysis. Now, <sighs> thank you for one, and for your entertainment, I shall now give you the dream analysis. What you're about to see is a dream analysis, but just imagine that on IGTV. And just imagine all of this without all the editing and stuff. It's just a, a live feed of me doing the dream analysis. I'm gonna rehearse it and everything, definitely, because I'm an actor, I'm a performer. And how dare you think that I'm not gonna rehearse it? But all these graphs and stuff, no. That's how I feel better. Enjoy! The first dream we have up is from Damon Locks. He's an old friend of mine from Chicago who is a visual artist, a DJ, a musician, and an educator. So, Damon agreed to have his dream read out loud to you. He made that sacrifice for you, dear reader. And I shall read starting now. I hope this object in my teeth. Shall I begin? Paul, you were in a dream I had two nights ago. I was in the backseat of a car, and both the driver and the, the passenger were the same person. It, uh, it was the actor that played Chang from that one TV show, Community. But I, you know, I was giving them both directions to drop you off where you're staying, but uh, nothing looked familiar. Even though it was my hometown and Google Maps wasn't working, I, I was still very stressed trying to get you where you need to be but without letting everyone know that I had no idea where I was going. I love that dream. I mean, that is a beautiful way to <clears throat> describe a, a lot of things that go on in the world. A, a lot of times people look 
to us as like artists and creators. And obviously Damon is someone who is very big and well-known in Chicago and in the country. A lot of people look to us for direction, guidance in our own lives, not just for ours, honestly, for anyone. There's a certain type of anxiety that comes from looking at the tools and measurements you usually look to in order to give the right directions and guidance people seek and finding that the tools are not how you left them. They're a little bit out of whack. Something's wrong, something's off. The usual solutions or the usual path has been blocked some way. I can imagine that gives a lot of anxiety, especially when people are depending on you to provide something that may benefit their lives. I would venture to say that this is perhaps one of those moments in your life where people are looking for you, as they often do, for the answers. And whether correctly or incorrectly, you believe that you may not have them the same way that you had before. So, what's my analysis for Damon's dream? A complex, shock-induced imposter syndrome. Damon, you are great when you do have the answers. And when you don't, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Just make them up as you go along. I shouldn't have said that last part, but you know what? I'm not a professional. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm totally not a professional psychiatrist or, or, or dream analyzer or whatever. But if I was writing this, I would definitely make that the motivation behind that dream. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for joining us. This is the Dream Analysis. Yeah! Thank you for taking the moment to listen to me ramble and make things up on the spot for your entertainment, for you. If you want more of these dream analysis, if you like good narratives, if you like meaty, delicious rolls that you can sink your teeth into, these meat metaphors, I don't know why I'm doing them today. If you want a wild, Afrofuturist, anti-capitalist, womanist horror flick to be on the big screen, coming to you, or most likely on the small online screen, still, coming to you, then contribute now, support us now. Follow that link right up there or down below in the description. It is bit.ly forward slash willow horror. Share this video, this link with as many people as you like and love. And one more thing, every contribution is tax deductible. Thanks to sponsorship from the Nose Foundation, which specializes in centering narratives with perspectives and stories from marginalized communities. We need contributions from you and people like you to help make this a reality. I have all the faith in the world that we will meet this goal and then some because of that type of generosity. Thank you for joining us. And I'll see you around. I'm just acting like I'm doing things as everything goes and just cue the credits. Ha! Cool. Yay.